This, my friends, is the outside case of a typical desktop hard drive. And in a moment, I'm going to lift the cover just to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Because it's important to recognize that you store your data on the type of device just like this. If it's not this model, it's very, very similar. Good evening. I'm Avi Uniglick, your tech concierge, and uh, welcome to Tech Talk. Uh, I'm going to be doing these sessions on a regular basis and exploring all different types of areas of interest. And uh, I invite you to uh, join me on a regular basis. But uh, let's lift off the cover because it's important to recognize that this little beauty is the point and the vulnerability of your entire computer. This is the brain behind it, uh, basically the memory portion of it. And if you notice, I want to focus down on the platter. This is what spins at very high resolution or, or revolutions. Uh, 5400 RPM is typical. Uh, many faster drives spin at 7200 RPM, but this thing's spinning around at lightning speed in terms of relative uh, power inside your computer. And this is the read write head. If you guys uh, remember the typical record player uh, way back when, when you used to put vinyl down, well, you recognize a read write head. Now, in a computer hard drive, this thing runs at typical s distances of about three microns. Tiny, tiny space. And you can see this thing's been exposed. You see the dust particles on here. If these dust particles were to collide with that head, forget it. Your drive crashes. Now, why is this important? Let's just look at some of the other components. In the bottom of the hard drive consists of your little city of computer chips and diodes and things of that nature that allow it to communicate back to the computer. However, there's a motor in here that allows the, the platter to spin. And in addition, this head, it's locked now because it's off, but when it's on, it moves back and forth very fast, seeking data. And this is what you're relying to store your data. Now, in a typical notebook, this is a desktop size, okay? So this is uh, uh, what they call maybe a five inch type drive. In a typical two and a half inch drive in a laptop, all of the components are even more miniaturized. So these are destined to fail. They will last a long time. There's normally a 30,000 mean time between failure. However, we never know when it's going to, when it's going to die. And not just die, okay? These things don't necessarily just crash, but because of your exposure to various power outages and things of that nature, it can affect the lifespan of your hard drive. Now, let me flip the screen around a little bit, and I'm so happy you guys have uh, joined me tonight. If you have any questions, by the way, as we're speaking, uh, just shoot them right out to me. And uh, if you like what you're hearing, you know, give me some love. You could always tap on the screen and show me that you can, uh, you, you actually care. So the bottom line here is we're talking about, thank you, we're talking about a vulnerable piece of equipment, this hard drive, and your data being stored on it. So what do I do? I recommend backing these things up. It's so critical to back up a hard drive, you can't imagine, as you can see. So sometimes people have to understand. Now, I have people that have stored their life story on these things. Pictures from baby times. They have their entire childhood on a hard drive and their kids' childhoods. They, they do uh, all types of things, and they think these things are going to last forever. They don't. So what do you do? You have to back them up. And if you back them up, you need to duplicate that backup because the, the other media that you put it on is going to fail as well someday. So you don't just rely on one, uh, say, flash drive. You don't just keep using the same one over and over again. These are magnetic media, but they wear out as well. You don't want to rely on these. So what do you do? You can use at least two methods of backup. You back up to a local hard drive, which is great for quick restores. But in addition, in a disaster, Let's say the power goes out, your hard, both hard drives can go. You could have a theft and have all this stuff stolen, for, stolen from you. You can have a media problem where you, 
attract a virus and malicious data gets on your drive and corrupts and encrypts all of the data. So even the data that you don't know is encrypted, is encrypted. And you go and you back this thing up to an external backup. And guess what? It's been attached to your drive all along and you're backing it up automatically every night. This external device is also going to get encrypted. So now you've lost your backup and your original drive. Horrible. So what do you do? Think about an external device that you back up and detach from the drive. Put it away. Don't even keep it near your computer. After you do the backup, leave it alone. And do use that regularly. In addition, I recommend products like cloud backups, like Carbonite or iDrive. Those types of services will be slower to back up, but they'll give you off-site support and backup. And they version your backup. So if something happens to, say, the most current backup, you can go back to a more uh, clean version. You may not have the most current data, but at least you have something. I have a drive right now in a data recovery center. And it's not my own. It's a client's. But they have all of their three-year-old's pictures on it from the time they were born. They never backed it up. And this drives in a data recovery center, they've done everything in their power to recover the data and they can't get it off. They can't get it back for these people. And, you know, the husband's kind of upset about it, but the wife, forget about it. She's like going crazy, right? So all they would have had to do was had a backup and all this would have been done. The hard drive was replaced under warranty. This was a Dell computer. The hard drive was replaced, no questions asked, free to replace, but it's your data that's everything. Everything you, you do is stored on the hard drive. So I can't impress upon you how important backup is. You see me post in social media constantly about backup, about security, about antivirus, about protecting yourself, but data is king. You can't go to the store and buy data. It doesn't exist. It's your own. Nobody can replace it for you except you. And no one cares about your backup as much except me. <laughs> I hope you care about your data more than I do. But I really care that you are able to recover. Because I can do miracles. But I can't recover your data if there's no backup and it's been stolen or encrypted. There's just no way to do it. So this is what I wanted to share with you this evening. And I wanted to make sure that you understood that this is what you're lying, relying on. Thanks so much for joining me tonight. It's been an absolute pleasure, and I look forward to seeing you again on the next Tech Talk. Please stay in touch. Thanks again. Bye-bye.